Nicole, Christopher Columbus discovered the Dominican Republic for us to enjoy, and now I understand Canadians far and wide are discovering it. It's one of the most popular destinations. Why is that? Why are the numbers so high for the DR lately? We find that in the Dominican Republic, so many of our very best hotel partners have resorts in the Dominican Republic. And the fact that we fly there from so many gateways across Canada makes it a very easily accessible destination. Right. And of course, that stupendous magical beach, does that have anything to do with it? It does, and Punta Cana specifically yes. is well known as a beach destination. And again, we have so much lift into Punta Cana that, that it's easy for Canadians to get there on Transat from St. John's, Newfoundland, all the way to Vancouver, British Columbia. And Punta Cana is a great destination with such a variety of resorts. It's perfect for conventions, meetings, incentives, multi-generational family groups, and especially destination weddings. But we have to caution agents, you need to get that bride to commit early because right. of the popularity space goes so quickly and it's sometimes a challenge to get that efficient on that wedding date you want so book early for Punta Cana. So it really is true Punta Cana is filling up fast. That's great great news for all of us in the business. For agents who know probably Punta Cana quite well know that why it's so popular let's maybe give them a bit of an overview. You got Punta Cana, Puerto Plana, La Romana, Samana. Talk to me about the differences. Okay. Porta Plata is a great destination and we've been flying there for years and years and the tourism office, the government of the Dominican Republic and our great hotel partners there have done a great job of renovating and revitalizing the destination and it really has a great vibe. Um, you get to see a little bit more of the culture of the island there than you would okay. say in Punta Cana. And Samana remains a bit of an un, um, undiscovered gem or a hidden gem for, for Canadian travelers. We do a good deal of business there, but we can certainly do more. The properties are fabulous. It's a destination in the Dominican that is a little bit less um, commercialized, developed. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, so there are, there are great resorts there, but it's a bit in more of a natural setting, beautiful sunsets. Uh, I invite anybody to visit uh, Samana. And as an agent, if you don't know so much about Samana, reach out to your Transat Business Development Rep, and we can certainly share um, some information with you, because it is a destination that could be sold a lot more. And then you mentioned La Romana. We're so happy to have a, a really a new destination to concentrate on this year. We have some of our La Romana products product available through the brochure, but since the brochure was, was printed, we actually picked up some new properties. And these oh, are that's brand very new. Exciting. Yes, so we have the Emotions Hotel. It's a beautiful resort. It sits where there used to be a, a, a hotel, but they completely gutted it. New accommodations, new facilities, and so on. It's a four and a half star product. The value is incredible, and they're doing some cool things. There's an organic market. Oh, neat. Yes, you actually go, pick the ingredients, fresh ingredients, and the chef will make you your meal. Brilliant. That's Brilliant. Cool. Do you know, when I was speaking to the people from uh, the Dominican Republic, from the Tourist Authority, they were explaining to me that so much of the food in the DR is grown locally that is served in resorts. So now you're talking about an organic market that is cooked. So for locavores and for people who are really into that, I mean, that's a huge selling proposition. It's really neat. And it's an optional excursion that's available at the Emotions Resort. They also have a wine and cheese bar. They have a brewery on site. Come on. Yeah. So you can actually <laughs> have a local brewed beer. And of course, there's international choices. And then there's Essentia by Emotions, which is like a boutique hotel within the resort, private check-in, private pool. And in that property, they're including a complimentary trip to Santo Domingo. So you talked about Christopher Columbus. Right. You need to see Santo Domingo if you're truly interested in the history of the island. Right. Okay. Fabulous. Tell me before I let you go a little bit about your new solo collection because I find that a brilliant concept. Yes. The solo collection is has been extremely well received by both agents and consumers. And we just found that this was an area that's underserviced. So we put together a collection of properties, eight of which can be found in the Dominican Republic, that especially appeal to single travelers. There's no single supplement, and there's opportunities for them to mix and mingle with other travelers. We have happy hours, and we even have a transat communal table where they can share their meals, get to know somebody, maybe go on an excursion. There's so many great excursions in the Dominican Republic. So our solo collection really features great properties in the Dominican Republic. And of course there's so many single people who don't want to be part of the singles yeah. scene, but they want to travel. And, the, and Solo is a great name. I love it. Very, yeah. very well positioned. Yeah. We're thrilled about it. 
All right. Well, thank you so much for the overview. No problem. Dominican Republic has it all. Dominican Republic has it all.